20 years have passed since a cataclysmic disaster known as the Shift transformed the Earth. This planet, once a paradise for human beings and animals alike, has become a nightmare. A swirling vortex of storms, fires and eruptions that threatens to devour what little life remains. And yet, life does remain. Animals, certain indefatigable species, have proven themselves able to adapt in ways humans could not. glider, a small marsupial unusually adept at navigating this new and treacherous environment. Sugar gliders, like all life on Earth, now balance on the brink of extinction. Their still beating hearts offer us glimmers of hope, proof that no matter the challenge, life can always find a way. gliders form powerful familial bonds. Adults and their offspring protect and nurture each other and cooperate in ways that enhance their chances of survival. But no amount of cooperation can avert some disasters. And where there is life, there is hope. This young family of sugar gliders is living on hope. With their nest destroyed and their father cruelly taken, they'll need every ounce of it to brave the dangers of the wild in search of a new home. Young gliders, or joeys, sometimes remain with their mothers until they are 10 months old. At only six months, our young glider will need more time at his mother's side to learn the ropes. Every step forward for this Joey is a step into the unknown. His mother and baby sister are the only constants in his life. And his mother has the knowledge and wisdom that come with age. He'll have to follow her closely. He's still young and has much to learn. Mushrooms and other succulent plant life not only offer nourishment to the sugar glider, but a path to follow. For where plants thrive, other forms of life can thrive as well.
Jumping, a precursor to gliding, keeps the glider nimble and strong. Skills he'll need if he's to survive this quickly changing environment. A spider. Though small, it has all the markings of the notorious Black Widow. The sugar glider has eaten the highly venomous Black Widow spider. Fortunately, this hardy youngster has the strength to survive this mistake. After some brief unpleasantness, he'll recover. Lesson learned. The forest floor, despite its dangers, also provides. Plump cloudberries fruit are chock full of nutrients and tasty too. This is Saviour Island, one of only a handful of ecosystems that remain. Its dense forests would once have offered cover and comfort to this young sugar glider, but no longer. The island is now a deadly war zone of competing species. The sugar glider feels most at home in the trees, and for good reason. The glider's whole body is adapted for the high life of the forest canopy. Opposable thumbs on his hind feet allow him to clasp branches and perform wonderful feats of acrobatics. With his gliding membrane, he can defy gravity itself and float on the air like a piece of paper, at least in theory. An excellent first attempt. The young glider has soared successfully from one of the island's trees to another, despite the dizzying drop in between. But the energy extended in this first glide has left him famished. Perhaps it's time to stop for a snack. A delicious meal. There's nothing like a successful hunt to put the spring back in your step. The sugar glider forges ahead with a new vigor. The glider has ventured close to the cliff's edge. The winds here are harsh. One wrong move could send him tumbling into the waters below. And because gliders can't swim, this would be a deadly mistake.
The terrain is rocky and inhospitable. Nothing like the smooth tree trunks and sturdy branches the sugar glider is used to. Crags, steep slopes and sudden gaps in the earth present a treacherous challenge. 